All right, check. Oh my gosh. Guys, what the heck? You guys will not be able to believe what just happened. You guys will not be able to believe what I just had to go through to get on this live stream. Oh my gosh. What is going on, everybody? We are here today for The Forge. Episode 2. Stream 2. Uh, make sure you guys can hear me. Let's see. Oh, sick. Okay, cool. So you guys can hear me. Awesome. So let me, got, let me tell you, before we get started here, I'm going to make sure the rest of everything else is good because who knows what else is going to go wrong. <laughs> I'm coming on here for once in I don't know how long. I'm ready. I'm at the desk here. I'm ready to hit go live. All right, cool. Right when it's, you know, I was like, all right, I'm going to start the stream five minutes early. Cool, here we are. Boom. And then all of a sudden, it's like, um, YouTube would like to verify that it's you. I'm like, what do you mean? It's me. <laughs> it's like, you can't go live. And then I have to log into this email. Forgot the password. And then here's the kicker. We get through it. And then it's like, yeah, okay, to make sure it's you, you got to click this number uh, that we're showing on the screen. I hit the wrong number. Well, one was eight, and then one was 18. I hit the one was, was eight because I was, like, rushing. And then I had to start all over again. Oh, my gosh, guys. But we are here. How's everything looking? You like my new baby? I picked up this new thing. Uh, I'm probably going to do a YouTube video on it at some point. I'm um, still kind of learning everything about it. But, uh, yeah, this is a semi-modular fully analog uh two synthesizers here this is the dfam from moog and the mother 32 um yeah these things make some crazy sounds i actually started a song uh something i don't even know what i'm doing to be honest but i recorded some i said i'm gonna make a song out of this but yeah so let me make sure that this other scene here is set to go before we hop in here but yeah how, how's everybody doing i have i can see the chat pulled up here on the screen and everything uh but yeah what's going on talk to me guys how you guys doing oh my gosh uh, okay cool sick uh, you guys like the new camera i got a, a new stream camera by the way guys super cool uh because I, before I was using my phone and it looked really good, but it just wasn't, people would call me or I'd get messages and they'd be like, oh, what's going on? And I'm like, God, I, I was on stream or I was doing something with my phone. So I was like, I, don't, I need to get a, a different camera for this. And yeah, it's pretty dope. So um, yeah, um, today uh, we're going to do some sound design stuff, uh, maybe play around in a couple different projects. Um, I want to play around with the new synth, um, Vital. If anybody uh, in chat has heard of Vital, it's a VST that everybody's saying is like the next, you know, coming of man, and it's so cool and blah 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 blah. You know, and as uh, I would I would call myself, I would call myself a seasoned, uh, I would call myself a seasoned serum user. And you know, when I look at Vital on paper and I look at its you know layout. I've hopped into it maybe once or twice before the stream. I'm kind of really going in cold feet. Um, I would say, you know, looking at it on paper and looking at it just, you know, taking it for what it is, it solves all the problems that Serum has, you know. It solves all the, oh, you've got three oscillators, you know. You've got a, a sub oscillator. You've got, um, you know, all these LFOs, all these envelopes, all these different things you can do. Okay, but can it outperform Serum? You know, as far as for my workflow, and that's what I kind of want to find out today. So there's going to be a lot of button turning, a lot of stuff going on. Uh, yes, code, we got to have, we need some sexy synths. We need some sexy synths. Yes, absolutely. I might even turn, I might even turn the, the, these bad boys on and we can, you know, play around, get some modular stuff going here. Um, oh man, Rakala, you know what the sub pack is. You know, people, when they see this, they usually don't know what the hell it is. And I'm like, ah, oh, come on guys. This is like the... This is the secret. This is it right here. Um, yeah, nice sub pack, although I still prefer my Wooger. You know, I had a Wooger, but this was many, many years ago. Many, many years ago. Before they, I think now they actually have one that's kind of like this. That's like a backpack, and I haven't tried that one yet. But I had, what did I have? I had, they used to make a, a belt. It was a belt. It was like a vibrating belt. 
And I had that. And I had like, this was when the, the first iteration of the sub pack was, you know, out, just coming out. And I had that. And I was on the Wooja belt. It just, I was like, what the heck is this? This isn't doing it for me. So, yeah. Let's, uh, let's hop into the stream. So, here we are in Ableton Live. Oh, looks crispy. I like it. So let me make sure that everything is good here. Oh, sick. It's already set. Usually have to do my levels and get all the routing right. All right, let me get some gum. Got to have some gum. All right. So I guess we're just going to hop right in to something like, uh, uh, like Vital. So let's hop into Vital here. I'll make sure, first, let, let's get some drums. Let's get some decent drums. Um, I'm going to kind of get a little com bit comfortable here. So if you guys can't hear me as well, just, uh, you know, say what's up in the chat and I'll see, uh, I'll fix it, you know, um, so I'm going to be, I'm going to sit back a little bit. There we go. The key to this is comfortability, being comfortable. All right, here we go. So these are our drums now. Mm -hmm. Make sure you guys can hear that. Got a snare. Hat. I'm going to load in a different kit here. <laughs> I actually updated my Ableton Live to the newest one. Hold on. Okay, perfect. You guys can hear that perfectly. Hell yeah. So I actually updated my Ableton Live. This is the old version still because I haven't played around with it enough to make sure everything is compatible. So I'm still in like... it's. Live 11, but it's not, you know, the newest one is like Live 11.1, blah, 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 blah. So, here we go. Oh, I forgot about this. The Persia kit's one of my favorite kits that I've made so far. Or lately. I Let me just get the kick drum right. Because I don't like the... I don't know why I left off the, the kick drum being so freaking fat. I'm going to see if I can tighten it up a little bit. Mm hmm. There we go. That's a little better. I'm going to go a little lower. Give it a little bit more low end. Tighten it up. For like 40 hertz. Still a little too loose. That's good. Husky says, I was reading that the Wooja gets dead spots quickly at some frequencies. Hmm. I don't know, Rakala. You're the sub pack or the Wooja, the Wooja master. Sounds like a freaking anime. Wooja master. Um, I'm going to get a different set of uh, everything. I don't know. Every time I do stuff, I feel like I have to have good drums before I do anything. I feel like my drums have to be on point because then I can pretty much go anywhere I want, you know? Ooh, I like this Autobot clap. By the way, I've been loving all the sounds I made for the uh, basic, what is this? Basic Hard Trap Essentials, or Hard Trap Essentials Volume 1 sample pack. It's been my go-to sample pack for like so many different things. Honestly, I made it for myself. Oh, that's a good snare. Oh, I like that. I like that too. Ooh. Okay, cool. Let's do it. Um, I feel like we need something. Honestly, I, it's so hard to like start with sounds because I feel like it needs. I'm, I'm like trying to like go into a drop, you know. But so I'm gonna just approach this as if I was writing. You know, I was gonna design some stuff in Serum. You know. Uh, so. You know, let me actually deactivate my VST1s. Because in the new version of Ableton Live, I went to, uh, like, some plugins are there and some plugins aren't. So I had, 
to bring in audio units because that's you know pretty much universal. Use audio units, system folders, VST2. So yeah, there we go. Perfect. That turned it off. That's actually a good thing right there. So now it's just all audio units. Fuck yeah. Okay, so let's open up Vital. All right. Here we go. So this is just what we get when we first open it up. Okay, it's a little bit of a... I feel like it's a little bit rougher of a sound than Serum's initial patch. So I'm going to open up Serum initial. There's Serum. Oh, it's way up here. Okay, so this is what Serum sounds like, the initial. And I'll make sure to move the... Uh... There we go. I'll make sure to move this over. So, this is what Serum sounds like. See? I feel like Serum is a little bit brighter, maybe. Um, Vital's a little bit warmer of a sound. Um, also, I feel like Vital was a little bit rougher around the edges of this sawtooth. Wave. Let's go back to the uh, Vital version. Oh, wait, wait. Here we go. Serum. I feel like Serum's just a little bit smoother, but anyway, we're not here for Serum today yet. So, I like writing sound in the key of D. First thing I <clears throat> usually do is go to my low octave. Ah, what do I do next? See, looking at this, looking at this matrix just confuses me. Let me go to, um, let me right, can I right click? Okay, so, there we go. So I made it a little smaller because that was too damn big. There we go. All right. <sighs> Where to go from here? We've got all these things. It's like, I don't know, maybe it's because it's just different. So I'm, I, might go, I might be going a little bit slower than usual today just because I'm learning as well. We're starting with that. I guess the first thing we're gonna do is find a cool wavetable. I don't have a lot. Like I, I, I had actually had to have help. I had Heckler help me download the uh, the factory, you know, wavetables and shit. I didn't know what the hell I was doing. It was like sign in to Vital. I was like, what do you mean? I don't even have an account. Well, let's just scan through this. Oh, this is a nice wave table. I like that. I li maybe we can make it. So let's just start with that. If I wanted to do that, let's start it here. And then let's take LFO 1, make a basic ramp. We're going to start off just trying to make a basic sustain. I keep trying to talk into the mic. I'm actually going to try to get comfortable. So please let me know if you guys can't hear me. Okay. So, I'm going to make a basic ramp here, and I guess you can just drag this onto the wavetable scan, and you control it, oh, this way, because I wanted to do this. There it is. Okay, so we can do that. Cool. We're getting somewhere. Like, that, that, that in itself is cool. Now, I just want to let you guys know, when I start off making a sound, I start with these, these things right here on you know, the, my, the channel itself. Uh, that's utility to control my volume, an EQ8 uh, to sculpt the sound, a compressor if I need to give it some beef or sidechain it to something, an overdrive just for, you know, nice... Overdrive, like, uh, listen without it. With it. It just, I don't know, it kind of bring, helps bring things to life. So that's what I start with. So if you're, like, trying to, you know, uh, like, you know, follow after me uh, on your own. You'll see if, like, if it sounds different. That's why. Okay, sick. 
So we've got this cool sound. I would use that almost, maybe. Um, let's see here. So next thing, I really like Serum's FM from B. So how would I do that in Vital? Well, first, I know I'm going to have to get another oscillator. All right. So now we brought in another oscillator here. So now we've got two oscillators. Cool. But I want to modulate. So where would my modulation, you know, uh, or warp, as they call it in Serum, you know, warp. F from from B. I'm guess I I know it's right here. So I guess. Do they have basic shapes? They do. So here's basic shapes. Selected that. I guess you can sweep through them. Okay, sick. All right. Now let's go to our effects, and you know, I all like I always do to get beef and volume out of a sound. I will uh. I will go to the compressor, especially in Serum. I'll turn the compressor on, and I'll turn the multiband on, and then I will, you know, bring the threshold back, basically, to give it, you know, this crazy, you know, nice volume and, and nice little, you know, breathe air into the sound. So sort of like this. This is what we had before. Now. Cool. So I guess I'll go and sculpt it. Holy shit. Okay, interesting. Bring that back. Oh, I guess I could have done the band. Huh? Okay. So I will say, Vital has so many different, so many more options than in Serum. Uh, you can get pretty deep in in Serum, but what I'm seeing from this is, dang, you just got options galore in Vital. Uh, let's see. Brought back some of the highs on that. Okay, but we're still just with this basic sound. Like, how do we get this to something dope, you know? Um, so we've got this basic shape. So I guess we'll go here. No, no, wait. It's not this, is it? I think it's this. There we go. It's going to be second knob under the face. Ah, Rakala, you, you, you got it. I'm going to just call you Rhythm. Rhythm. Call you Rhythm today. So that's going to be second knob under the phase parameter. Okay, is that FM... Oscillator 2, so I'm guessing that's their version of FM from B. So let's play around. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's sick. So let's throw LFO 1 on here, too. Oh my gosh. How do I. Oh, here. See how it's changing though? The phase is changing. It's a lot more... Vital's phase change in unison stuff is a lot more apparent on you than Serum's, you know? Serum's like, li listen to the phase. It's changing timber, you know? Um, okay, so I guess let's turn our phase... This is 180, let's turn it down. Randomization at zero. Okay. So where would I choose how much unison? Oh, unison voice. Ah, I see. So for now, let's do this, because this would be layer one. And then we have to do the same thing, I'm guessing, with this. So phase down, down, on both oscillators. Okay, now, it, now it's the same. Now it's the same. Hell yeah. Okay, we're getting somewhere. Okay, but... Uh, turn the randomization to zero? Yeah. Got it, rhythm, I got it. Okay, so let's go with the filter here. Maybe, like, let's see if... Do they have a comb filter? We've got dirty, analog... Wait, wait, so... Oh, man. Interesting. Oh, man. Okay, hold on, guys. Hold on. Be right back. I'm getting an important phone call. Be like that. BRB. BRB. BRB.
All right, I'm back. Sorry about that. I really apologize. But sometimes when you get certain calls, you have to uh, you have to answer. And that was one of those calls. I appreciate everybody still being here. Um, oh, let me see. Cool. Just getting started in Vital. Yes, Tristan. I'm just getting started in Vital. Um, yeah, I'm, it's going interestingly so far. Um, but yeah, let's let's hop back into it see here I got the second screen though guys you see I got the iPad I'm using my iPad Pro as my second screen and I've got this like I, I, I got I went sweaty with it I'll show you guys because I you know I'll show you I got sweaty with that look at that oh my gosh I put it on this like 12 bar south stand and it like hovers right there and you can like move it you know at will it's so sick so sick um but yeah, look at that. Oh, I'm looking at it too on my end. So cool. All right, so let's hop back into Ableton here. Okay. Back in Vital, we have this sound here. Oh, okay, so I put a filter on. If I remember, yes, okay. We're back. I was wondering if they had a comb filter, but... What are all these? So I'm guessing with each of these filter types, I, oh, wait, wait, wait. So I see, so you can choose analog filter, dirty filter. It, it, ah, it's so like layman terms though, you know? Dirty, ladder, digital, diode, formant. It's like the layman's of layman's terms for all these things. Formant, comb, phaser, and then in there you can choose 12 dB, 24 dB, notch blend, notch spread. That's interesting. And then, what is that, band pass, notch? Okay, uh, I see they have a comb filter, so let's just, oh, whoa, all these options. Low to high comb, low high flange plus. Oh, so these are like, oh, is that CMB plus and CMB, okay. Says, Rhythm says, also something you definitely should try is the text to wave table. You can get a robotic Lit Lord sample. Oh, wow, okay, we'll try that. Remind me of that later. I'm, I'm just, that's, that's interesting. You can, ah. So, this is the comb filter. Low, high comb. It's just, I guess we just gotta play around and press buttons, huh? Okay, I can key track. Oh, this key track shit is crazy. Like before you were just kind of stuck in Serum. Like, okay, you could key track it, you could, but it was set to like one. As far as I know, you were stuck with whatever key track it had. You would turn key track on and it was like one thing. Um, I'll show you that when we do a comparison. But with this, I guess you can get in depth. Ah, oh, see all these options though, you know, it's like all these so many options, you'll never get anything done. That's I can already feel that coming on. <laughs> So let's start here. Let's use. So I'm gonna just okay. Let me go. Let's let's play around. So now we've got LFO two on here. Let's Holy shit! Can I delete? How do you delete it? Is it this? Remove. Ah! Wait, it's still moving. What I do? So I want to take LFO2. I want to take LFO2. And I guess it would be here. How do I play with it? Oh, you can reverse. Joey, thank you for all the crazy kind words you're leaving in the chat. I'm like half-assed glancing over at him. 
feeling special about myself. Golly. Oh, that's interesting. I feel like this is a dying word. kind of playing around. I don't know what the hell I'm doing at this point. We had a cool sound, now it's awesome. Vital is so much softer than, than Serum. Like, it starts off a little rough around the edges with the sawtooth basic shape, but holy crap, it's really so much softer. It's not as brash as Serum. Like, you can get, like, Serum is like, I don't know, like, it wants you to make some dirty shit. Like, this is like, it's like resisting my touch right now. Oh! So, let me turn the level down. Like, I'm not even trying... I'm not even trying to turn on Oscillator 3. Like, that's out of my realm right now. Ah. Way too many options here. Uh, but why is it why is it like this? Hold on, what? Sustain envelope? No. Oh, that sounds cool. Can I bring this down? Oh! I like that. Can I make another? Ah! Ah, damn it. Is there an undo button? I don't know what I did. I like tried to add another thing and it like... Okay. And then I'll do it this way. Oh, that's cool. I like that reverse. Okay. Still got such a weird... We didn't even play around with this. So this is at 110 frames. Okay. Now, last but not least, let's play with the distortion. They're like a diode, or I guess they're like built in. Uh, no diodes. Like, and this is why I like bringing in uh, drums. This is why I like having all my shit together before I start doing this because. Sometimes I might want to like stress test. So sometimes I might want to just write some shit, you know?
Oh my gosh, dude, what? It's not even like on beat. What did I do? Ah, here we go, here we go, here we go. Ah, there we go, there we go. There we go, there we go, so I just need to extend it. There we go. Turn the filter on. Okay, no, we need the filter. Play around. Oh, that's it right there. That's crazy. Now let's play with this. I like that. Okay, so now I'm just going to EQ it. Now, what I'm going to do is, we're going to make the next sound. We're going to make the next sound inside of Serum. So now you guys can sort of see the comparison here of what's going on. So we've got Serum. I'm going to this. So we're making a complimentary sound to go to this sound here. Actually, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm actually super proud. I mean, I'm super proud of myself for, for doing that, for creating that sound. That was like my first, like, going for real sound in Serum. I mean, in Vital. Oh my gosh. Oh, by the way, guys, please, if you haven't yet, like the video, because it really helps the, uh, it helps the channel out, and it helps the video out, you know, get seen by more people. Um, and if there's any good tips in here, I want to make sure that all the fire squad are, you know, getting the, an opportunity to see it. So please, uh, like the video if you can. It'll uh, mean a lot and really help out the channel. Thank you. So, trying to get a complimentary sound to this. And we've got this. So, let's just, let's get Serum in, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, first thing in Serum, I like to find a crazy cool wave tape. Oh my god. My wavetable collection is just off the chain in Serum. Overpowered, guys. It's like, I, I just know what I'm doing. Like, I, I feel at home. I will say, though, after playing in, in freaking Vital, I'm like, I'm getting them mixed up now. I'm like forgetting things. Next thing we're going to do is turn this phase in random down. Like, I don't know, like... I can go a lot faster in Serum. Maybe that's just because it's like, maybe that's just right now. Maybe that's just right now, you know? that's Maybe I just suck in Vital. I can't go fast. You know? like, we already got that. That's sick as fuck, right? Uh, let's give this complimentary sound, so we need this to kind of be in stereo. Now let's kind of like modulate the sound with a filter here. Let's go comb. Like, I love the comb filter in Serum. It's so, so good. Let's turn it off, and next, let's just create, like, a basic ramp, like we did before. Turn the trigger on. Oh, that's sick. And let's turn the level down on this one. So, you see, this way, a lot of people will leave this up. And you're getting a lot of that mixing from this basic shape. And it just makes the sound sound muddy. So what I like to do, at least, is turn the level down, guys. I like to turn the level down. Because look how clean, much cleaner that is. Like, I think this is already usable. Let's play this with the other sound. And then here we go. That sounds crazy. Oh my gosh. I like this sound. Now let's, let's, okay, so we're gonna, we're gonna go back to Vital now, and see if we can, uh, shape this sound to kind of fit tonally better with the other one. I guess that would be from, like, my F. -M.
okay, that's... But I'm losing all the, like, rumble of it that I, that I really fell in love with. Oh, that's crazy. Oh, there it is! Oh, this is why I love this, guys. When you find that sweet spot, it just hits. That's it. Oh, my gosh. Yes. Yes. So, look at this, guys. So, the second one here, this second, uh, our, our additive sound. I usually like to make my sound, my sounds, like, for one sound. It's either, it's two or more sounds layered together to create one crazy sound. So, the, in this case, this sound is a two-piece combo. And we have one that has no unison. It's just playing right down the middle. And then the serum sound actually has some unison. And this way, it sits better in the mix. It kind of plays in the sides. Listen to this. You see, it's, it's a little like, it's got that stereo nature to it. While the first one here, it's playing right down the middle. It's sort of our foundation, you know? The second sound is just to make the first one sound sexy. Sexy synths. Ha <laughs> ha. And then... And then it's got a little bit of movement to it, which is sick, right? So, nice. Let me just EQ this one. So let's play it with the drums here. Ah, excuse my vape, y'all. So this sounds dope, but... But how does it sound with low end? Because if you guys notice, I like to sound design, especially for sounds that I'm doing the drop for, right? Like drop sounds. I like to take out the low end. You know, 95% of the time, just because I like to control the low end separately. Because you, A, you have more control, no pun intended. Um, you have more control, and you can do a lot more things. You can be a lot more flexible. But sometimes... Your synth, your sound can get muddy, and it's it's hard to control. Yeah, so I guess it just revolves around control, right? Um, and, you know, these sounds could have low end, right? And I'll show you how you could just do that, you know? They have low end already, but I've kind of, you know, high-passed them at 126 hertz. You know, it's letting everything after 126 hertz out. But if it's below 126 hertz, you're not going to hear it. I brick-walled it out. Uh, that's what these EQs are representing here, right? Um... So they have low end, you know, but also uh, on top of this brick wall, there's another brick wall on my channel group here, and it's high passed at 102 hertz, you know, so it's not playing anything below 102 hertz, and this is just because I know how I work. I know how my workflow is. So let's go ahead and just add some low end to this so we can keep making some sexy sense, yo. So we're just going to use a hip hop sub bass here, give it an EQ. We're going to low pass it and allow everything at 114 hertz. Sick. So now we get the side chain right. So now we've got this, right? Just, oh, hold on. Make it sick. Cool. So now we've got this, right? Basic shit, you know? And that's just, you know, and that just lets me know how, you know, how it could sound, how it would sound, right? So let's go ahead and just save these two sounds. By the way, um, 
These sounds are going to be made available. They're always made available to my patrons over at patreon.com slash litlord. So if you like any of these sounds, they, I, I give them away to my patrons uh, in the Heart Academy tier over there. So please definitely go check that out. If you're interested in these sounds at all. Here we go. So I'm going to go ahead and just save this because, you know, first one. Um, let's go ahead and just save this as... Um, first let's put the author, Lord's first vital preset, yeah? I guess it is a base. Wow, I did it. And I don't know where this saves to, so. Where did it save to? Oh no. Oh no. Uh oh. Where did it go? How do you get rid of this? Um. Who are all these? There's Mr. Bill stuff? Oh my gosh, that's sick. There's a lot of stuff here and I don't even know about it. But where did my stuff go? Lawrence first. I know it's an L. It starts with an L. Okay, so it's just mixed in here. Ah, oh, dude, this is going to be so tough to find. I'll figure it out, though. I'll figure it out. Alright, here we go. So we've got the... That's our first sound in Vital. Let me save this other one while we're at it. I mean, this is just such a more refined sound. Oh my god. Just lets you know how like much better I am. The, the serum. So we'll go ahead and call this. Yeah, go ahead and check out my projects. Uh, ST. Idle Ops. It says, go to user and you will see your preset there and right click. The oh, right to find the file location. That makes, that makes perfect sense, as a matter of fact. Wow. That makes perfect sense. So let's take this out. It sounds so much better with the serum sound. Guys, I gotta get better. Oh my gosh, now just this dial, just the vital sound. Ah, it's just ugly. It's rough around the edges. Ah, I gotta fix this. Oh, that's tight. Oh, it's gross. I'm learning, I'm learning, I'm learning. Let me turn this off. Now let's play with it. Sounds better. Okay, that's a whole other thing. I, I, you know, this is a different sound, so I'm gonna go ahead and save this as well. A little bit different, you know? We can even go like, uh... So I'm going to go ahead and save that. Save preset. And we'll say, we're going to call this potty mouth. I'm going to call it, this is sustain potty mouth base 
Forge 002. Boom. Okay. They mix very well. Yeah, right? Would love to hear a track with this sound. Yeah, me too, you know? Like, I, it's, it's hard for me not to just start writing a track. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so let's make five more. So let's make five more sounds in vital. In vital only, and then let's turn on the analog gear over here and see if we can get, you know, because I'm building out this, like, workspace. I'm not going to call it a studio. I'm not going to be that presumptuous. It's a workspace, you know. It's a really, like, swagged out, decked out workspace. Um, sounds really good in here. It's not a treated room, but I measured out exactly, like, where I'm sitting, where the speak, where the monitors are. Measured out all that. I'm at the perfect, you know, when I have my monitors on, when I'm monitoring. Um, I've got the perfect listening distance you know the perfect listening distance uh did a lot of math and also i've just got some amazing monitors from barefoot i've got the barefoot footprints um amazing studio monitors um yeah you got to check those out if you don't know but yeah uh let's make five more sounds it says want to try that vital yes as a matter of fact so uh walk me through that rhythm walk me through how to do that. So let me just delete the serum. Vital screech attempt. Uh, okay, we're, I guess we have to try that, right? I'll see if I can, like, uh, adapt my fundamentals of screech making. Holy shit, that should be a book name. The fundamentals of screech making. Insane. Okay. So let's make another vital. Uh, so we've got this. All right, so I guess let's just initialize you. There we go. All right. Oh, only seven voices? What the hell? It's not enough. I'm just playing around with like with uh with which one of these I want to kind of like do something with. Oh, now I've got 16 voices on oscillator 2. Got a good idea. Let me figure out what the hell I was playing with. There. Okay, I was playing with that. Okay. We're getting there. It's not so bad. It doesn't sound awful. Like, Let's take, let's see if you could just get like crazy. You know? This isn't doing squat. Ooh. 
nothing really to play with here except I like that little bit of a uh, that little bit of like sync in there. So let's uh add a compressor. Ooh. Just a little bit. Just a little bit of compression. Then let's grab a a, a chorus. Oh, this chorus sounds awful. Now we just need, we'll have something basic right after this. Ha ha! It sucks, but it doesn't. Is there like pre-delay? Where's the pre-delay at? Ah, is it time? That's the decay. Dude, where's the pre-delay? Alright, alright, no, hell no. No shot we're using that. That's garbage. Yo, the vital reverb is garbage. I mean, it just might just be me, but holy crap. Let's throw a fucking Ableton stock one on. That sounds so much better. Let's get the pre-delay. Look at that. This is basic. Stock reverb for the win. Oh my gosh, guys. That was crazy. Alright, so now we've got this on here. So I think this is a basic screech. It's not like doing all the crazy things I wanted to do, but I would definitely use this in a song. Oh, the filter. I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm having fun. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, oh, that could be sick. Hold the front door. It's got to go faster. mode I don't know that was a cool idea I don't know it can't be this it definitely can't not a ladder filter oh they did have diode that's where the diode is that's weird I think we'll leave it at there. Like, if we wanted to sustain. I didn't really build it for that. I need to, like, play around with it. But, I mean, listen to it. So. Here's what I'll do. Check this shit out. I'm going to play them together and watch how things sound. Oh, yeah, my phase is still messed up, isn't it? Just randomization down. Ah! It's got some punch to it now. Ah!
<laughs> okay, okay. Just for like cool moments sake, right? Just for cool moments sake, let's duplicate this vital, delete this vital, and then bring back our preset that we just had. Uh, where did I, oh my god, where did I, where, where, where did, where did I put it? Oh, revert to saved. I gotta go find it. Where's that preset at? Ah, here it is. So we've got this sound. Check this out. Oh, this vital screech is hard. Oh my god, that's hard. Now we just need to make it louder, you know? Oh shit! Oh! Oh shit, that's hard! Hold on! Two, ready, and... Oh my god! Oh, I just hit it? What did I do? Okay. Holy shit, that was tight. That's hard. Let me turn down my game because I'm starting to like freaking like scream and shout. Because anytime you edit a preset, it has phase randomized. Gotcha. Okay, cool. Oh my gosh, guys, did you hear that? That was insane. Oh my gosh. Oh, let me just play it again. And I've got the sub pack on. This is not knocking though. He says, now name it the serum screech. Do a little draw the serum screech. All right, you're on, you're on. You're on. I can't believe I made a screech though, fire. I was not expect, oh, what'd I do? I was not expecting to make a screech today. Holy moly, like, you know what we should call it though? The washed screech. That's a good name. The washed serum screech. Call it a lead. Forge. <gasps> Zero zero two. Bam. The washed serum screech. Sounds like this, guys. Once again. Like that's sick. Like with a little bit of like, with a li only like just a little bit of like tweaking and. You know, fleshing out to get some context behind that, those sounds, like, that would be sick. Could also throw a little white noise. Oh my gosh, you're right, we're not even exploring this. Oh my gosh, okay. You can throw white noise on there. You're right. That's a little harsh. Can you change it? Can I change the pitch, like, well? Nah, I need to play around with it more, but that right there, fire. That is, that is the sound. The fourth oscillator is a sampler. Oh, I see, it's a sampler. I see, I see, I see. That makes sick. Yeah. So I felt LFO on it. True. See, see, you're just opening up all these, all these, this, it's like an open-ended test. He says, why is it so roomy? Because we've got seven voices of unison on oscillator one and 16 voices of unison on oscillator two. I don't know why it didn't let me put 16 voices of unison on oscillator one. I don't know if that was like, if that's a vital thing or if that's a, a, a me thing. But yeah, we got a screech, ladies and gentlemen. This is fire. Okay. That's two sounds. So we've got our first sound here. I like to, let's just like, uh, dude, we made a freaking screech and vital and it's fire. Oh my gosh. You saw it here first. You made a screech from scratch and vital and it's fire. Holy crap. 
Okay. So we've got this sound. Let me, I guess I can get rid of this. Oh, this is the screech. This is the screech. Oh, yeah. Let me move this out of the way. This is the serum sound. Oh, my God. It's so sexy. I love serum. Uh, delete. So back to Vital. <laughs> All right, so let's just kind of ad lib off of this sound and see where it goes. Or actually, no, let's not even ad lib off this. Let's initialize. We've got that. Let's see if we can find a cool, like maybe I'm just not like excited about it because hold on, there's a wavetable called Crappy Toilet. Do you hear that? That's insane. That's insane! Oh my gosh! I don't even know what I- I had so many- I had like five ideas hit me at once. For what I could do with that. It could be like a stab. It could be a stab. Or it could be a sustain. Washington, what's going on, man? Oh my gosh, dude. When me and Gravedigger played your song at the OC, like, we planned it. In rehearsal, we had it. We were like, the one who had the screech said, Boo! Boo! We planned it, man, because we love that song. We were in sync, too. I gotta send you the video or post it one day. We were in sync. We said, Boo! 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 Because your screech went so hard on there, man. Awesome track, dude. Yeah, but this screech is in vital is crazy. Water Razor? a good vital wavetable. I mean, I'm dealing with the crappy toilet right now, so. Let's just start there, I guess, and then right off the bat, let's just, like, get a compressor going. Multiband. That'll do, Donkey. And let's go back to the voices. And let's put this phase down, because fuck phase. Awful. And let's turn on oscillator 2. And let's do a basic shape. And then let's do FM2 oscillator. It's so weird how it doesn't start you. Well, I guess, I, never mind. I guess Serum starts you in the middle, too. Oh, that's hard. That's 33.60. Oh, there's fucking decimals. Good grief. Not decimals. Oh, it's going to be so hard to find things. Fine tune. I want to get to there. So. Do this. It's not. It's just repeating too quick. It was a cooler sound I just heard. Holy crap. Hold on. So right off the bat, like, let's just hear this for what it is. Golly, everything is so low in this. This needs to be more swung. There we go. Super swung. I mean, that's sick, right? Let's play that with the screech. Yo, my freaking screech pattern goes hard, guys. I'm not, you better watch out. I got a new secret weapon now. <laughs> that's hard. So we've got this, and like... I'm getting good at vital now. Ah, things are happening. I'm excited. Okay. This is sound number three, guys. We made one bass sound, a screech, and then this is bass number three. Oh my gosh, we're already like, I see the potential with this. I just gotta get more familiar. Cause I, I still get stuck and I'm like, what am I doing? Okay, so. Um, can you do two mods? like two warps can i like sync from this one and oh you can 
Oh, that's game over. You can only ever do one mod. Oh my god. Wait, I might be wrong, but I might be wrong. I might be wrong. I don't know. I might be wrong about this, but this is this is dope. <laughs> Like some analog shit. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Can I like delete all of this? I wish I could like oh, okay, I can't. <laughs> okay, I like that. Now let's keep playing. Oh, that's hard. Oh, that's hard. This is gonna be have to be a two-piece combo because you see where I'm going with this. I'm gonna go ahead and stick this in uh I'm gonna duplicate this first and foremost. Oh, that's sick. What does this sound like in freaking stereo? Oh. I just do something. This is the one that should have two, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh, I forget. You have to do both. There it is. Oh, that's hard. Okay, so we've got that sound, and then... Then let's see if we can change this. See what's going on. What's going on? Wave table itself is. That's what I. See. 
Because I, I was trying to control the sound a little bit. Okay, I guess that's as good as it's going to get. So we've got this sound. And then... I'm going to EQ it a little tighter and then play it together with this sound. So now let's go ahead and play that with the screech. I don't know. We might just hit some gold. Here we go. Oh my gosh. It sounds hard. Let's go. Oh, let's go. We need we need more than like two bars. This sounds hard as life. Oh my gosh, that's hard. We already got a drop. There's a whole drop. Yo. Oh. The rhythm is hard. Check this out. Holy shoot. I'm just getting fancy with it. You could do that. See, like a little bit of tweaking gets you there, you know? Hey. Just a little bit of tweaking. You know what? That's pretty dope. Look at that one more time. That's sick. That is That is extremely wonky. Absolutely. Um let's save those two sounds. So these are a set. So we'll we'll, we'll call this wonky cum. God damn, I'm so bold. I'm making some insane sounds in vital you guys. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, a whole new scent. Ah, I was getting butterflies. So good. So good. Save preset. This is going to be called a uh, sustain wonky cum one base. And then wonky cum two. Should have called it donkey cum. Ha! <laughs> Donkey come now! <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so full. That's Donkey come. There it is. That is an absolutely disrespectful name. So now we've got these sounds. Uh, and guys, I forgot about this. The coolest part is Vital is free. It's freaking free. So all the patrons who are going to get their hands on these sounds, they don't even have to buy a VST. They just go and download it. Ah, oh, it's so good. Okay, I think that's one, two, three, four. One more sound, guys. One more sound. So, let's go ahead and do that. Got this sound. Oh, I'm in love with this sound. So crispy. Let's initialize. Um, woo! Go. Wait a second.
Oh. Oh, okay, I see. Something updated on that. Okay, sick. Okay. So let's initialize this sound. See where it takes us. One more sound, guys. In vital. Oh, dude. My freaking new my new profile picture on YouTube is so sick looking with the thing and then it says live right under it. It looks awesome. That's sick. Bam. Alright, so one more sound in, in vital. Who's waiting around just until I turn on the analog gear? Gonna get interesting. we have all right so wavetable time solar power oh. but all these almost sound I guess that's glor glunk like I feel like all these do sound like glor glunk sounds like glor glunk uh, like okay I get it like like 20 points for I don't know I, there's not a lot of wavetables here though. I gotta get my set my game up how do I do that rhythm how do I do that text to wavetable what happened that was it? They're like a... Holy shit! Hold on, dude, that's, what's happening? How did I do that? I right clicked it, didn't I? Text away. I need a sawtooth LFO. Like saw it here. Okay. Oh, okay. I was saying it fucking backwards. Oh my gosh, I was doing this backwards the whole time. Oh shit! Hold on, bro. Hold the phone. I'm gonna go hard. I'm going ham. That shit is tight. What did I do? I know what I want to do with the sound, by the way. Lord. 
Oh, it's hard. Oh, shit, that's hard. I am cutting off the S, hold on. Oh my god, yo, what the life is happening? Home filter. Oh shoot. Okay, next sound here is going to be an actual sustain. I know we're supposed to make one more, but I really want to hear the, the end result of this. So we're going to start with... No, multiband compressions are like a little too muddy in this environment. Like it's really muddy. That's tough. You hear that? That's insanity. Let's get some crazy. It's so like. It's so like. Holy crap, it's so harmonically rich. So that sounds like garbage. So just the sustain. Sounds dope. Oh, that's, what if that was in frickin' stereo? Oh, shit. That's hard. Now let's get this.
Uh, I'm kind of. I like, can I get this back to how it was? I guess it'd be a trick. Oh, that sounds insane. Oh, shit. What the fuck is that? Stop. What? Vital, no, what are you, what is, what is that? That's crazy. I don't even know what the fuck is doing anymore, but let's play with the screech now. That's hard. So let's see if we like made this screech a little more like I don't know, it sounds fucking insane. What if I, I want that punch to it though? Like I'm not getting the punch I want. Mm, here we go. See, like, you can do all sorts of stuff. This is a cool screech. I think I'm gonna... I don't know. Like, I'm, I'm gonna save this one, too, just because that little attack changed, which some people might not catch on to that, but, like, that's... That's sick, you know? Screech 2. Call it that, right? Oh. Let me get all this. You made a clean ass pluck. I know. I don't even know how I did it. Well, I know. I know what I did. Like, I'm looking at the way the audio was routed and everything, and I'm like, okay, I I can see how that happened. Like, yeah, I'm really playing with the combs, and um, the resonance must be like super up on this now. Because. <laughs> That's a cool little trick, I guess. We go back to LFO. That's so like that's so freaking creepy. 
We gotta save that just cause. That's like... Uh, uh... Let's see... The experiment. That's an insane base. Very experimental on that one. How does this sound though? Which is like, I don't know, it's kind of basic, I don't feel like it's worthy. Like, for you guys, like, like for me to like, give it to you, like, it's gotta be a little... This needs to be modulated. I'm still like getting used to like, I don't know exactly like, okay, if I put it here, is this going to work? <laughs> That's crazy. That's crazy. Oh, so that's how you make wobbles. Ah, oh, why? I, I knew this. Why didn't I? Why didn't I think of that? Already? That's sounding nuts. like without this just needs a little bit of like uh wag to it that's hard That right there, that goes hard. And then you bring the other one back, but it's gotta, it's gotta do it as well. Like uh, you gotta. Oh, whoa! That's insane. This might be the hardest one yet. All right. Let let's let me save these presets cuz what the heck? Like with a little bit of context, a little bit more tweaking like song-wise, like building a song around it, like they these would hit. Oh, that's crazy. This is like a wobble. The what do they call it? We are in a simulation. The simulation. Five. And then this one will be. Uh, simulation two. Oh, that's so crazy. And I think we started with text to speech, text to wavetable, yeah. And we got that text to wavetable. We kind of like went way off the rails there. All right, so let's see if we can get like a crazy sound with the uh. 
with the analog gear. You're gonna plug it in, but not gonna be ready to use. You gotta let the circuits and everything warm up. Hold on. All right, so let's just let these circuits kind of warm up. I'll show you. Let's. I'm gonna open the project that I. Thing. Okay, because. Let's see. I don't know what the fuck. I, ah, I called it Wibble. There we go. Don't save. So we saved all the presets that we just had. And yeah, those will be made available on patreon.com slash litlords. Um, oh no, all my VST2s can't be found. We're going to have to reload this. I think what I'll do when I'm in this one is turn audio units off. I think that's what I'll do. I did it backwards. Use system folders. Yes. Oh, come on. It's probably going to take forever, all these damn VSTs I have. Ah, oh, sorry about this, guys. What the heck? Um, I hope it didn't freeze. That'd be, be unfortunate for me. Might have. Oh, man. Okay, so let me swap over. Okay, so I just swapped over here. Let's, I'm going to restart Ableton. Of course, edit. I don't know what that was all about. Man, it's the sus lords. Oh, come on, guys. <laughs> wow, so the lives, oh my gosh. Lives last program run was abnormally terminated while scanning the VS2 plugin sub base doctor. This failure has either been caused by the plugin or another plugin that was scanned earlier. Click OK if you'd like live to scan this plugin. Yes, I don't know what's going on here, but scan my shit. I need to start just working inside of the new... That's what I need to do, man. Oh my gosh. I need to stop playing around. I need to just transfer myself to the newest version of Ableton Live because holy shit. Now I'm getting like all these old version, new version things. What's going on, Pietra? I have a friend named Vietra. The only thing different is the V. Holy crap. Dude, what's going on? Dude, the day is a weird day. Let's get a vibe going in here. Actually, these colors do kind of look like a vibe. I'm not going to lie. But we got to get into the analog vibe. We got to get the vibes going. Um, Ableton Live is still scanning my plugins. So I'm actually going to close this version of Live, and I'm going to open up the new one. And we're like, I guess this is like as good a time as any to see how it works. Turn that. So, okay, Ableton Live is open. System folders for all that shit is on. And now what I'm going to do is just exit and open up the Ableton Live Universal. Because, you know, now Ableton Live is compatible with Mac, Macs that Macintoshes that have... Um, the M1 chips in them. And my MacBook does have the M1 chip. It has the M1 Pro chip in it. So, you know, supposedly that's supposed to... I mean, everything else has been, like, like everything that's, like, M1 compatible, like, even the iPads and stuff. Like, phenomenal performance. Like, performance boost out the roof. It's insane, right? Um... Yeah, Black Zero. I moved the camera. It was getting on. I, I saw it, and I, I don't like the the glare of the light. Either. This is a little better. We're gonna get a vibe going in here, though. It's gonna be it's gonna be dope. Um, Pietri, he says, "Hi, how you doing? I've always wondered how many hours you work usually per day. Uh, usually over ten. It's usually ten to like fifteen, ten. It's somewhere around there. Maybe, you know, I've been kind of 
I don't know. It's a lot. I work a lot. I work a lot. I mean, I love this. I don't even consider it work, to be honest. Um, so now we're in the new version of Ableton. So let me just make sure that this is going to be correct. Oh, shit, it worked. Fire. Okay, so now we're in this version. This is the newest Ableton. This is live. Oh, I got to actually put my stuff together. Here we go. So this is live version 11.1.1. .1. Don't send me emails. Um, here we go. Is my kick drum? Not. Kick drum sucks. No, it doesn't suck. It's just kind of low in volume. Let me play something on Spotify. Make sure. Oh. There we go. I have had the sub pack on for a minute, so the battery is actually honestly probably dying. It's a long shift. I mean, I don't really consider it a shift. Um. I just love make like and, and I don't do this. It's not every day. Like like I will go in spurts. The way I like to work is usually in spurts, where I'll go a week to three weeks where I'm just heavy producing, heavy. Just I have ideas, ideas. I'm finishing these ideas, and then I'll just I'll back away. I'm not afraid to back away. I'll go play the video game, play some PlayStation Five. Please, guys, that reminds me, because today's Tuesday. On Thursday, I'm streaming uh the first ever game stream of. No Man's Sky. I'm doing a survival run of No Man's Sky. One of my favorite games of all time. Yeah. I'm doing a survival stream. It's going to be crazy. That game is, is insane. If you haven't heard of it, please look it up. I'm doing a survival run. We're starting a brand new save. I want to become a galactic freaking miner. It's going to be dope, man. That game has just come so far, and I'm excited to, to play it. I have a lot of fun with that. But yeah, I mean, I'm not afraid to back away and do other things. I'll watch some anime. I'll play the game. I'll just watch TV, watch movies, you know? Because uh, you don't... There, it, it, I feel like this energy, especially for me, it comes in waves. And how long have we been going? Okay. It comes in waves, and, and it doesn't last forever. I will absolutely... I will definitely go through... Like, once the, I'll ride the wave, and then I'll, once the wave's over, like... I'll feel like I suck at producing. Like, that's completely normal. And that's when you just have to step away and do something else. That's why it's good to have different hobbies and be involved in a bunch of different things in life where you can back away and, and come back when you're ready. Because that's where the inspiration hits in life, you know? You could be walking outside or smell something or hear something in, in, in the supermarket and be like, yo, I'm, I sampled that shit. That would be some crazy shit right there, you know? Like, you never know where, where, where the energy hits. Oh, dude, any progress on Elden Ring? I have not played because we're playing it on stream. We're just, I mean, right now, it's looking like we're going to be alternating. Like, so one week it'll be No Man's Sky, and the next week will be Elden Ring. There's also this other scary game. So I'm going to be taking a poll of seeing what everybody's most interested in, but I really want to get a No Man's Sky in. I really think you guys are going to enjoy it. It's an awesome game. Yeah, so we're in Ableton. Let's, I guess the gear's ready. Okay, so let's go back to the main scene here. You'll still be able to hear all this, don't worry. Okay, so we're gonna get a vibe going in here. I want like purple. We're gonna go purple. Oh, now the last thing. Hold on. Getting vibey. Uh, no, nothing matches. And last but not least, the finishing touch.
All right, guys. That was a lot. I need to have this to like just one remote, but it's okay. I've got things hooked up all over the place. And there we go. The vibe is set, ladies and gentlemen. So, um, I'm going to do some rerouting real quick. And I'm going to make sure this is... Well, actually, I don't need to do that. I don't need that. So, let's do this. Yeah, analog gear is always a pain in the ass because you're figuring out how the fuck am I going to record this. I know how, but it's always a pain in the butt. Okay. So, making sure all this is going to be correct. Because this stuff can definitely be... A pain in the ass if you don't know what you're doing, so you really kind of have to uh, focus. So I know that I want to. Hold on, I'm just setting this up right. I use FET. Hold on, almost there. I think that might be good. That might be good. Uh, lastly, a preamp of the BA31. I'm just messing around because on my interface, it's uh, basically a virtual rack of, of pristine emulations uh, from Analog Audio. So I can kind of set things up to be pretty damn cool. Sound really vintage. Not that it needs it because this is pure analog, right? Um... Okay, I think we got it. Let's make sure this is good to go. Here we go. Um, enjoy. Here we go. I'm gonna get it. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. What's going on. Good work. Should be working. I really wanted to show you guys this. Bear bear with me for a moment. Oh my god, it's so embarrassing. Gosh, guys, this is wild. Because this could very well be my fault, so let me try this. Hold on. Okay, so now let me just set this back up. Oh my gosh, you guys are hearing this on such a weird 
Oh, let's, let's do that. Let's do that. And then bring back the bass in my voice. Where did it go? Check, check, check. Check. Whoa. Check, check, check. I've got real to real. Check, check. There we go. All right, I figured it out. Sick. I don't know what happened to... Check, check, check. Check. There we go. All right, there we go. So let's see, and make sure, uh, let me know if you guys can't hear me again, like not, not well enough, because I know the settings are going to be a little different. So um, let's kind of move this and kind of set this up, set ourselves up for success here. Here we go. Field trip. I should have like Oh All right, that's as good as it's going to get today. Right there. And action. Here we go. And the thing about this is there's no presets, right? He says, "How <laughs> Love your voice. Oh, does, does it sound better this way or did it sound better before? Let me know. Um, so the thing about this, there's no presets, right? So however I left it last is going to be pretty much how it's set now. So I guess I left off on this weird quirky sound, right? So what we're going to do is I'm just going to get a recording lane ready here. It's going to be... Okay, so now we're I'm just going to start recording. Or once I find something cool, I'll I will record, but the the, the thing about this is uh, All right, you just got to hear it. Here we go. You can get, like, you can go crazy with this, all right? And, like, it's pretty damn interesting, the, the sounds you can make. And a lot of the time, it'll sound like you're just making complete bullshit. But you'll s stumble upon some of the craziest things, right? Like that. But if I can get back to the original thing, I'm going to unpatch this from the DFAM. <laughs> And now, um, let's check out these things, because when I heard some of the sounds on here, I was like, dude, I could make, like, an uh, insane analog sustain with this. The only thing is there's no presets. The closest thing to presets is take a damn picture. So, as you can see this on one of those memes, like, this will be the music in 2012. Ha! Okay, so, I'm just going to play around some more. Here we go. I'm trying to, let's see if we can make a sustain.
Do you hear that low end? The cool thing about this is it does have FM, so you can do some like very basic FM modulation. And the thing is, once you, it's like on this, you'd have to like record it, and then you know you could bring it to some more outboard gear or bring it to you know th other things that you have in there, you know. So you know it's like an entire other world from just being inside of the box, you know. Another awesome potential use is 808s, low end. I don't know if you can hear that low end. There it is, 808, I think that's like F something. This sounds, this is dope. Yeah, oh, you could probably definitely make, see? See, Washington, raw kicks, I'm telling you, see? You just gotta, I mean, there is a little bit of distortion and like other things you can use, like hard sync and all sorts of stuff on here, but I'm still a novice, you see? but. Just hearing from what you heard, you see what I'm saying? But yeah, no, Husky, I'm right there with you. I'm trying to keep these, like, to, to two hours. I'm right there with you. Dude, you're going to Cancun? Dude, have fun, man. Have fun. Please, listen to Lit Lords on the plane tomorrow. Hell yeah. Oh, dude, you probably already have Buck. Ha ha, what a guy. Take it easy, man. But yeah, um, this thing is got some awesome potential. And I... I just really wanted to show you guys. But yeah, these sounds that we made. There we go. These sounds that we made are going to be made available to patrons over at patreon.com slash litlords. I'm going to upload them like directly after this stream, which is probably going to end in the next five to ten minutes. But yeah, dude, this thing is crazy. Um, Maybe I'll just give you this. I'll, just, I'll go ahead and record this in and... Uh, so you guys can hear this. Hold on. Here we go. So now we've recorded this in. Let's head back to Ableton Live. So we just recorded this in, and it starts here. So now what I'm saying is, look, because this is pure. This is like pure square waves, pure triangle waves, pure sawtooths. This is going to have a lot of flexibility. So right off the bat, let's throw thermal on this. This is a plug-in from Output. Oh, dude, this Ableton is a little different, so... Hold on. Let me actually make sure this is correct. There we go. We're back. So, yeah, so rocking with thermal. 
It's a distortion saturation plugin. Let's go like bass. That's hard. It says imagine the processing you can do after using hardware. Exactly. It's going to be flexible. Dude. You could probably make some crazy respaces. So, um, I'm going to get a sampler. One, two, one, two, ready, in. Oops. Oops. Oh, shit. So let's go ahead and record this in. One, two, ready, in. So now we've got that. And I want to get a lower one. Record that one, two, ready. Damn, these things hit. So without the little processing we did, and if I were to like do like what I would normally do, which would be like throw a saturator on here and like go medium. Oh, listen to that. Dude, <laughs> these are pure analog subs. Oh my gosh. It sounds so good. Mind you, I've got the sub pack on. That right there is insane. Let's throw that into a sampler. So let's actually... I want every bit of that. Let's render that. Okay, so now we sampled that. There's probably an easier way to do that, but... I don't fucking know. That thing's knocking. Exactly. So let's 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 throw that into the sampler here. Here we go. There it is. So this is our recording. And then up here our sampled version. Well, there's already things on here, as a matter of fact. I've got another saturator on here and a sausage fattener. It got lower in volume, though. Hold on. What? So. Okay. The volume should be the same. Should it? Right? It should. Hold on. There's a technical thing going on here. So that hits the same. Is it because... What? Well, I had to put the damn saturator back on there? That's crazy. Why would I have to do that? It should be good already. I don't know what's going on with that, but obviously this is... That's set, so I don't know what the problem is. Unless I, like, did had normalize on. But, if you play this... Check this out. There you go. So you got some crazy shit right there. 
Yeah, it, no, I don't think it's the compressor. Because one of them's just for sidechain, it's not even being triggered, and the other one is like, it's not even, it's not even being activated. I don't, dude, I don't know what. Because we brought it back in as audio again, analog sub one. And it knocks. Absolutely knocks. So... Is it, it? If anything, it should knock more. Dude. Volume? I don't know. Maybe it's maybe it's a bug in this new name. Remember, this is the new this is the new version of Ableton, so you know you never know what the hell's wrong. There could be problems all over the place. But yeah says Aubrey any chance we can get a lit lord's grave digger tour uh, you never know man who knows what the future holds code dude i appreciate you rocking with me the whole stream code but yeah look at this I'll turn our freaking saturator back on since i guess we need it i can't even believe that dude what key is that c sharp Oh my gosh, guys, I'm going to be making analog subs now. Oh, that's, that's insane. Analog subs. Oh, straight from the source. And you guys saw how fast I did it, too. I was like, bow, 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 bow. Oh, dude, I am stoked. I don't know what just happened. Wait a second. You hear that? Police sirens are everywhere today. It's only Tuesday. But yeah, I mean, I'm going to put this, uh, I'm going to sample this for you guys. Oh, you hear that? There's freaking reverb on my voice. Woo, woo. That's crazy. You guys can't hear it, though. I had to, like, wire things backwards, which is why this is, whole, this is all going like this. So, check. That's insane. It says, I'll take a... <laughs> A C sharp 808. I know, right? Yeah, this is smacks. Listen, it's like a little bit like off beat. Um, so this is where we could do the micro tuner because it's 24 cents off beat. So that's fine. That's fine. That's completely fine. We'll just throw a micro tuner on and tune it up to 24. So that's like 24 cents. Um, if this works how I think it should, then we're going up 24. So now it's too high. Now we're plus four. Now we're down. Damn, this thing is... Why is this so sensitive? Maybe five. No, is it six? Okay, that's point oh two, six point oh three. Oh, we're close. Let's go six point fifty. There it is. That's as close as we're going to get right there. It's like minus 0 0.6. So you could basically get this perfectly tuned by going 6.52. Oh, we're close. 6.55. Oh, we're close. I think it's going to be 6.58. Oh, that's close. It has that, like, plug 808 threshold, right? It does knock. The envelope on it, it hits. Remember, this is what we had before right here. We started with that. And then you just have to... This is where, like, having an imagination comes into play. Because look how far we stretched this and did all this crazy shit to it. And it still sounds so pure. But we came from this. 
Oh my gosh, guys, wow. That's insane. So now we're like, we're pretty good. And this is why the new Ableton is so good. This micro tuner is actually like high key amazing. But yeah, I'm going to make sure that's going to be uh, in the pack as well. I'll render that out. But yeah, guys, holy crap. I think that's good for today. Let's head back to the main scene here. Yeah, I think that's good for today. Um, we designed some crazy things. I got a handle on Vital. Um, yeah, but make sure if you haven't yet, please like like the uh, like the video, please. It helps the channel out so much, and it helps other people, other Fire Squad members, have the opportunity to just see the video, and uh, that would mean so much to me. So just please, just uh, like the video, and uh, yeah. So that was Vital. We'll be back next week with another production stream. I'm debating whether or not, like, I'll probably do some polls. So make sure you're looking on the community tab of the channel at the, to, you know, to participate and have your voice heard in all the different polls, you know, on all the different things that I'm trying to do and that we're going to be doing community-wise. Um, but, yeah, we'll be back on Thursday with the No Man's Sky, oh, no Man's Sky survival uh, theme, survival stream. <gasps> you can see I'm getting tired. But yeah, we'll be back on Thursday with the No Man's Sky Survival stream. Um, be playing on PS5. Um, if you guys have the game, it's free on Xbox Game Pass, by the way. I believe. I believe. Don't take my word for it. I believe. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'll be playing on PS5. Um, feel free to join. We'll get a party going if anybody wants to play. But yeah. Uh, Washington, man, it was good seeing you in here. Yes, likewise, man. I'm glad you enjoyed the show at OC. Rhythm, dude, you watched the whole stream, dude. M mad respect to you because you're in the freaking Eastern Time Zone. Mad respect. I appreciate it. Black Zero. Dude. Rock on for sure, dude. But yeah, that's it for today. Um, stay tuned for those. If you're a patron, stay tuned for those uh, sounds coming within the next couple of hours. Maybe the next hour. Should be pretty fast. But yes, aside from that, thank you guys. We'll be back. Stay tuned to the channel. Um, yeah. <laughs>